The 1998 Papua New Guinea earthquake occurred on July 17 with a moment magnitude of 7.0 and a maximum Mercalli intensity of 8 severe. The event occurred on a reverse fault near the north coast region of Papua New Guinea, 25 km 16 miles from the coast near Itape, and caused a large undersea landslide which caused a tsunami that hit the coast, killing between at least 2,183 and 2,700 people and injuring thousands. Earthquake. <inaudible> 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 The earthquake occurred at 6.49 p.m. local time UTC along the boundary of the Australia and the Pacific tectonic plates. The tsunami was originally thought to have been caused by a 2 meters 6 feet 7 in vertical drop in the Pacific plate along a 25 miles 40 kilometers long fault. Later work suggested that in fact a massive underwater landslide had occurred. The tsunami raised awareness among scientists of the potential for small earthquakes to trigger large tsunamis, if they cause undersea landslides. It is now recognized that such events can be very dangerous, as the earthquake may be too small to be felt on land, or detected by the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center. Any resulting tsunami can thus appear without warning. Topic. Effects The earthquake consisted of a main shock and several aftershocks that were felt in several towns in the area around the epicenter. The main shock caused some minor damage to the 62-year-old church at the Sasano Mission, and was strong enough that many people in Malol, AROP, and Warapu left their houses because the shaking lasted for so long. Cracks in the ground formed in AROP and Warapu. A few minutes after the earthquake, many residents reported hearing a loud clap as the tsunami approached the shoreline. The tsunami resulted in at least 2,200 people being killed, thousands being injured, about 9,500 homeless and about 500 missing. The maximum height of the waves was estimated at being 15 meters, 49 feet high with an average height of 10.5 meters, 34 feet. The area worst hit was a 30 kilometers, 19 miles coastal strip running northwest from Itape to the village of Sasano. Several villages in the path of the tsunami were completely destroyed and others extensively damaged. The tsunami wave uprooted entire buildings and transported their foundations 50 to 60 meters, 160 to 200 feet from their original location. The village of AROP was situated on a narrow spit between the coast and Sasano Lagoon. It was directly in the path of the tsunami and was worst hit. Topic: Response Immediately after the tsunami the Royal Australian Air Force flew in three C-130 Hercules transport planes with relief supplies. In the days following more relief was flown in and a field hospital was set up in the neighbouring town of Venemo. The amount of injury and illness due to the tsunami overwhelmed the makeshift hospitals, leaving many victims with wounds that were untreated for several days and led to gangrene. Rotting dead bodies that remained in the lagoon spread diseases and the government sealed off the entire area. After the makeshift hospital in Venemo was dismantled, the sick people became worse because the nearest hospital was over a day's walk away. Several villagers moved their buildings slightly further back from the sea when they rebuilt. Scientists from the University of Papua New Guinea initiated a public awareness program for the residents of the coastal area affected by the tsunami, to tell them that scientific models have concluded that the geology of the surrounding area causes the destructive waves to focus their energy on that area, making it a very dangerous place to live. The scientists also recommended that the Papua New Guinea government improve the escape routes for the villages and improve the tsunami warning system. The country does not have a communications plan put in place, according to the UN Development Project's country report on disaster management. 
According to the National Research Institute, there are still no roads to the villages of Aarop, Warapu, and the Sepik Highway that connects to Itape does not connect with the village of Venemo. See also List of earthquakes in Papua New Guinea